Good morning, day 36. It is a Monday, early morning, having my pre-caged in me now as I head to the gym. I went, uh, I jumped on the scales this morning and uh, no battery, and I have no spare battery. Smart move, Chris. So I wasn't able to weigh myself this morning. So I guess I'm gonna have to get uh, some batteries today and weigh myself tomorrow. Now, I'm gonna focus on this workout. We got quads, we got abs, and we have calves. It's gonna be a fucking big one today. Okay, hello children. It is day 36 today. We're gonna to be starting it hard as we normally do with legs, or quads I should say, and calves and abs. However, it's gonna get a little bit more difficult now. So make sure that you follow this program exactly as I'm demonstrating it and doing it. But not only that, look at the page below. Sometimes I may say things are a little bit off. If you look at the page below, it'll just give you the verification of what you should be doing with in regards to your rest periods, your repetition range, and what exercises, because we will be going through quite a number of exercises today, more than we normally do, and uh, we'll be using the DTP Extreme Principle yet again. We will be going from a high reps down to a lower reps, and then going lower reps to high reps again, but with a different exercise this week. So make sure that you take control. So I'm gonna fill this back up, get some in cage in it, and let's get started. Okay, finished with leg extensions, first exercise. The theme of the rep ranges are starting with 20 repetitions, increasing the weight after 45, 50 seconds rest, and then going to 15 repetitions, and then our heavier set being 10 repetitions. As you go a little bit heavier, slow it down a little bit, work on the contraction and work on the negative because you don't want to put too much strain on the knees, you want it all placed upon the muscles. This is an isolating movement, it's a pre-fatiguing movement, and now we've gone down the pyramid from 20, 15, 10. We are now gonna go back up the pyramid with 20, 25, 30, but with a different exercise, a compound. This is what's gonna happen throughout the entire week, except for arms when we're gonna do supersets. So we are gonna go back up on squats now. Set, best set. Okay, so we did uh, 20 reps, rested for about a minute, 25 rested, and did 30 repetitions. Uh, as I said, don't have to go too heavy. I don't like to go too heavy. 
on squats because of the major curvature in my spine. Okay, so we've done leg extensions, we've done squats. Let's move on to the next two exercises. repetitions to begin with slightly increased the weight after that a minute did a plate put on a plate did like 15 repetitions then put on another plate and after about a minute did 10 repetitions coming down nice and slowly till legs hit almost like a right angle and then explode on the way up try not to lock out unless you're going to incorporate like a rest pause movement keep the pressure and stress on the quads oh. Whew. Okay, third exercise done, leg press. Whew. It's tough, obviously, doing legs first thing in the morning. If anybody comes up with an excuse, oh, I'm a little bit tired, I've got a work day today. I won't be able to get through the work day if I do legs. Maybe I'll start with a smaller body part. You just need to man the fuck up. You know, you're coming up with excuses, you're putting limits on yourself. It's hard, of course it's hard, it's not supposed to be easy. Do you think Richard Branson thought it was easy to, you know, start up record store chain, um, you know, start up his charities, you know, whatever other bloody companies he's got? Don't try, actually, just to enjoy it. You know, think of the opportunities that, that you have. You have the ability to train. You have good knees. You have good hips. You're not disabled. You know, some poor bastards out there, they'll never have that opportunity. So quick fucking moaning. Ugh. exercise and final exercise done the half squat again make sure that my feet were close together about fist distance apart to really accentuate the stress on the outer sweep of the thighs so that's that done and now we are done with quads I want to keep up with the intensity so I want to move straight on to carbs now so we're going to be hitting the soleus so seated carbs it is Good evening, it is the end of day 36. Two cardio sessions have been completed of 45 minutes now, 90 minutes total. I did a spin class this morning and then went back to the gym and did a mixture of things, did elliptical, did the Stairmaster, uh, mixed things up anyway, uh, just to get me through it. And now having a beautiful evening dinner in beautiful company of sunshine. And let's look at what we have here. We have, oh, I didn't press, yeah. We have uh, tofu, tofu and some peppers, uh, bell peppers, zucchinis, uh, spring onions, some broccoli and cauliflower. And here we have some, it's all organic, by the way, organic tomatoes that I had yesterday, absolutely beautiful, and some spinach and some lettuce wraps. So 
gonna put actually I've got fish on mine from Nutrition Solutions I just cooked that up or warmed it up I should say <laughs> and gonna put that in a wrap so um, and use a bit of Cholula as a dressing so instead of having tacos obviously you can have some wraps we had some wraps yesterday with some tofu dinui, which is beautiful so I've tried to emulate that myself now this evening so you know it doesn't really look like diet food is it when I did the vegetables I made sure that I didn't overcook them at all I keep them as raw as possible, uh, just not so not to cook out the the enzymes and uh, the minerals, vitamins and minerals in there because they, we need them to heal. All right, bon appetit, and I shall see you at the gym tomorrow.